They've been bombed and burned. Government buildings turned to rubble. Morgues filled with the dead, hospitals filled with the wounded. And still, by and large, Palestinians in the Gaza Strip do not seem to want a ceasefire, at least not this ceasefire. We are against ceasefire for ceasefire. We've had three wars, and the result of every war is truce for truce. We lost and we gained nothing. We need them to open the crossings completely without conditions and opening the sea for the fishermen. Due in part to an economic blockade by Israel, 40% are unemployed, 80% live in poverty. Many Palestinians feel they simply have little left to lose. We are against the free ceasefire. We need many problems to be resolved. We need them to solve the crossing problems, the electricity, the water, the unemployment. Many generations have become unemployed. We need a solution. I have four unemployed sons. Here at the Ashanti refugee camp, most people are jobless. Many have done without water for as long as two weeks. They have eight hours of power a day. And what they don't want from a ceasefire agreement is one that gives them nothing but 200 fellow Palestinians lost. Few here suffer from the illusion that an agreement would liberate them from the Israeli occupation, but most do aspire to end the seven-year Israeli blockade known as the siege of the Gaza Strip. We have real catastrophic economic, social, health, environment situation. The ceasefire is not enough. We are calling on to end the siege totally, to open all the crossings for individuals and for products, with no limits. It's illegal, inhuman, blockade, it must be ended. Until the people of Gaza feel an agreement might materially change their lives, Hamas will face little pressure from Palestinians. And the rockets from Gaza will continue. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Gaza.